The vastus medialis obliquus muscle was described as the key to the knee by an eminent British orthopaedic surgeon called Ian Scott Smiley. The first edition of his book, Injuries of the Knee Joint, was published in 1946, a very long time ago. But what he said remains true today. The vastus medialis obliquus, commonly known as the VMO, is the lowest part of the vastus medialis muscle. Vastus medialis is the innermost of the quadriceps muscle group, the group of four big muscles which cover the front of the thigh. When the VMO is well developed, it's prominent and it's easy to see when it's in action contracting. On the other hand, if the VMO is underdeveloped, it's difficult to see and it's difficult to feel its activity when it's put to work. The quadriceps muscles as a group act together to straighten the knee against gravity or a load and they pay out when you bend your knee under the influence of gravity or a load. The VMO has a particular role in all this. It's the only muscle which controls the kneecap from its inner side. It helps to draw the kneecap upwards and inwards as you straighten the knee. It steadies the kneecap in its groove when the knee is both straightened and bent and it locks the knee straight when you extend the knee fully. Malfunction in the VMO can mean that it's weak in relation to the other parts of the quadriceps, that it contracts sluggishly, it's difficult to contract and it's difficult to release once it has contracted. In some cases it can't be contracted at all. And all of this means that the kneecap has then lost its support from the inner side and it will be drawn to the outer side whenever the knee is straightened or bent. This patient, who was suffering from a long-standing knee injury which was never properly rehabilitated, is almost unable to contract, engage the VMO properly on his right knee. As a result, he can't straighten the knee fully and the kneecap mechanism is almost completely blocked. His left knee had been injured in the past, but he made a good recovery. However, because of compensating for a long time for the injury in the right knee, he has the problem that he cannot disengage the vastus medialis obliquus once it's been contracted. This means that the kneecap is almost permanently in a state of tension. When the VMO is weakened or inhibited, the main muscles of the quadriceps group and the iliotibial tract on the outer side of the thigh compensate when the knee is straightened. This results in the kneecap being drawn slightly sideways during movements of the knee, which disrupts the mechanics of the kneecap joint and disturbs the balance between the kneecap joint and the main knee joint. VMO can stop working properly for a lot of different reasons. In any knee injury, it's inhibited straight away and it loses both strength and size, while the rest of the quadriceps group takes about 12 to 24 hours to waste away to a similar degree. It can also be undermined by activities which hold the knee bent for too long, so that can be as simple as just sitting still for long periods, or it can be through sports which involve the bent knee, like squash, field hockey, marathon running. Pain over the front of the knee has been given lots of different names. Among its many titles are kneecap pain syndrome, anterior knee pain, patellofemoral pain, runner's knee, and chondromalacia patellae. When the VMO has been weakened or inhibited, it's very difficult to revive it through exercises alone. The exercises which have traditionally been used for knee injuries, such as the straight leg raise, 
don't activate the weakened VMO. Exercises which load the bent knee won't help either. In my experience, the most efficient way to revive the weakened VMO is to use electrical muscle stimulation, targeting the nerve which controls the muscle and helps it to activate at the right time in the right way when the knee is in action.